what's up guys my name is george and today you're gonna watch the moon easter egg as i commentate over it it is very different from my other videos and to explain what happened we had the video and we completed the easter egg absolutely no problem and when i went back into the files to pull out the video that i recorded it turns out that we didn't have the final clip the final last part of the easter egg doing samantha says one last time and blowing up the earth point of alert by the way but it, i'm sorry so i decided to go back into theater mode and get that clip for you right now and sadly there is no audio between us talking in this so i had to commentate over everything anyway i hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it so the first thing we did, I got shopping free in round two, and I went straight for power, turned that on, and I was looking around to find a tube that I will eventually find, and I'll show you guys later on. So we're going to be hitting the box a lot during this game as well. We are looking for three things that we absolutely need for the Easter egg. We are looking for QEDs, which are equipment that take up your monkey slot, which do a random action, whether it spawns in more zombies, does a little like shockwave thing it's really random we are looking for gersh devices you will remember those from ascension they act almost as black holes and we are looking for the wave gun the maps one the weapon it's essentially two electric shooting guns and then you can combine them together to make a wave gun which essentially acts as basically a thunder gun except it loads up the zombies into like marshmallow size and like makes them like Ding, like microwave it's 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 a really fun gun to use sadly i didn't get it so you won't be seeing footage of that anyway getting into the actual first step of the easter egg there is these four computers that are by spawn and they flash four different colors and they act almost as like simon says where you have to repeat the colors that are on the screen and uh, people call this samantha says because you know samantha is basically the boss of this map and she's controlling this, so Samantha's telling you to do this, Samantha says. Uh, eventually, when you get to the end, you'll know that you did it successfully. Because you have f three green lights flash in a row. And that means that you did it correctly, and you can move on. So for this step, you need the hacker, and then you need to go up to these panels and hack into them. Around you are going to be four green lights that you also have to hack into. You'll see one right here. I hack into this, and then there are three more around me. And once I hack into all four of these, I can go back down to the panels that I just hacked into, and I can go ahead, click a square on them repeatedly, square X, whatever you're using, and I can go in a straight line, uh, close up all those little panels that are on top uh, and then that will be done with that step so at any point during the game you're gonna need to hear this Also, you saw me pick up that little tube earlier. That's going to be very important later on. This is where you have to let Excavator Pi drill into Tunnel 6. It's going to free up a ball, and you're going to shoot it around, and you're going to eventually get it back to this pyramid over here. You will know when the Excavator drills into Tunnel 6 when you hear this. That is where you hack into this panel right here, get the little excavator to pop up, and then you can go along chasing after that ball, which I'll show you in a little bit. Also, at some point during the Easter egg, you are going to need to go back into the Pack-a-Punch area, with your spawn area, and to do that, you hop into this teleporter here. Once you do teleport over, throw a grenade in this little corner over here, 
basically all the way in the back corner. You're going to see two panels drop down. If you throw Gersh device at those panels, let them get sucked up into that. And that's going to appear right next to Quirk Revive when you have a chance. I'll show you what to do with those later on as well. So as I was alluding to before, this is the part where you do have to chase around a ball by shooting at it and watching where it bounces. So here I shoot at it, you follow the bounces, bounces up top. And once it gets to a certain point, it's going to stop, and we're going to have to shoot it again. And we keep doing this until eventually it does get stuck on a satellite, which I'll show you in a little bit. So here you see it gets shot up into space and eventually gets stuck onto a satellite up top. And I tell my buddy over here to pull out the wave gun and shoot at it. That is the only way you can get it off of that satellite. And once you shoot it off that satellite, you just keep chasing it, keep shooting it. And bring it all the way back to that pyramid device that I showed you guys before. So eventually that ball is going to land in that little slot for a new pyramid device and that's going to shoot up a canister now with this canister you just got to fill up souls with it and there's the switch on the left which you then flip and it's going to bring that canister down here you guys see i get the qeds and this can be received at any point during the easter egg and essentially what you do want to do with this is you want to go to spawn and remember those panels that i grabbed before in area 51 you're going to throw your QED at those panels and that's going to cause it to go into a computer that's in the opposite side of the room. So here you see I go into uh, spawn right now with the quicker vibe. And right by quicker vibe, you see me waiting for my teammates just so they can protect me. See these two panels over here. I go ahead, prep up, throw the QED right next to it. Those poof and go into this little computer over here. Now with that tube I showed before, you put it there, and whoever is Rick Toffin has to put a golden rod in between those two panels. You need Rick Toffin for this easter egg. If you're playing solo and you get Dempsey or Takio or someone, you need Rick Toffin for this. So you place the golden rod there and then you go to the computer right next to it and spam square. And I'm going to let you listen on this. I'm not, but that's why no one would get it. What is it to grow up obsession with American women? Or say, do you play games? No matter. Time to charge up the Casimir mechanism. Carry the one. from production. You should never have tried to steal the plan for the MTD. Stop the madness, Edward. We were supposed to help the human condition, not destroy it. Indeed. But now you are dead. But your little girl is going to be next. She is the source of madness. Not I. She is just a little girl, Edward. She doesn't even know what she's doing. Aunt Delete. Bye. Basically, you override security and you charge up the golden rods fully. Uh, we're going to go back and we're going to finish filling up souls by that pyramid so we can fill up that canister. Once you do fill up that canister, you're going to hear a certain sound like this. Once you do that, you flip that switch and that canister is going to drop down. 
And in that spot, there's going to be another empty canister plus three more canisters are going to rise. So now you have to fill up four times as many souls around the pyramid. And in that pyramid, you have certain locations where you can kill the zombies to fill them up and you can't. And depending on which ones are filled and which ones aren't, you have to be very specific on where you kill the zombies. Just be aware of that. So if you're focusing on the back left corner for to fill up that canister, you need to make sure that they're in that back left corner area. It can't be just relatively close, like in the front left corner. So it's very strict on where you kill the zombies. Just be aware of that when you do do this Easter egg. Once again, when you are finished, you're going to hear this sound. This is where whoever Rick Toffin is, is going to put down the golden rod. And something weird is going to happen. You and Samantha's bodies are going to switch. Samantha is going to take over your body and Edward's going to take over the other. And he is actually the new announcer with the zombie's eyes changing to blue. This is where Maxis says that he has a plan and wants to stop Richtofen. And you also notice that whoever is playing as Richtofen gets a Perkaholic. The Easter egg is not over. Stick with me now. I'm going to show you how to finish up the Easter egg so everyone gets a Perkaholic. So the next thing you actually want to do is take your QED and throw it at that ball right in front of you. This is going to bounce back at where you first did, Samantha says. And you will have to do that three more times. Yeah, you heard me right. You have to, Samantha says, three times in a row, each time getting more difficult and difficult as you go on. If you are doing this solo, I highly advise against it, or at least try to use something like Idolize, because it is very hard to focus on the correct order when you have zombies attacking. Luckily here, I had my teammates, you know, protecting me from the zombies. But it is very hard to do this solo. I highly advise against it. So once you finish with the third one, you're going to see three green flashes one last time. And whoever has Gersh's needs to throw their Gersh right at that ball I just shot at right there. Once they throw the Gersh at it, it's going to suck in that ball. It's going to bring it to the rockets. It's actually going to shoot the rockets at Earth. Maxis' thought during this was Rick Toffin cannot take over Earth. If Earth is destroyed, that was that was the biggest thing back in Black Ops One. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch this. It is insane. Because you just did that, everyone now should have a perkaholic in the game, and it's a permanent perkaholic. So that means if you go down, you can just res your teammate back up, and they still have all the perks on the map. And when you teleport to Earth, you still see all the devastation. It's not like before. There's a lot more debris. There's a lot of fire in, around. It is truly insane. And you still have Rick Coffin as the new announcer instead of Samantha. And whoever is playing as Rick Coffin still has Samantha talking instead. It's all unique lines too. It is truly a lot of effort put into this. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please make sure to leave a like, 
comment, and subscribe. And next up is Origins. Let's go, baby.